HIV taught us a lot and now COVID is teaching us a lot. And one of the things that it's teaching us worldwide is that diseases like this uh, don't recognize class. They don't recognize you know, your status in society. They're going to affect everybody. And if you have a health system that denies people equal access to health services, um, then what you're doing is you're not only prejudicing the poor, but you're also prejudicing the whole of society. A society that has equitable health services is something to be proud of. I think we can look to the UK to see what are they most proud of in the UK. They're proud of their National Health Service. That's the biggest achievement that they keep talking about, is they have an equitable health service that services all. That's what we need to move towards. Um, but I think we also need to recognise that with modern medicine, for even the richest country, health services are phenomenally expensive. So we also need to take lessons now and say, how can we have a slicker health system, a cleverer, cleverer health system? How do we use social media better? How do we use pickup points for medicines better? How do we pull out the people who need special care, whereas those who are managing their health well, that we have the lighter touch so that we can actually use our resources in a much cleverer fashion rather than over-servicing people who say, actually, just give me my medicines, check me every so often, but I don't need to be sitting in long, long queues. I need to get on and be economically active. So I think there are many lessons that we have to learn, but one of the biggest lessons that this will teach everybody is the issue that equitable health services are good for all and are essential um, if we're going to have healthy societies.